Welcome to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to make use of DAX Studio to see intermediate results of complex DAX expressions and then aggregate them into our measures to solve Power BI challenging problems. With that, let's check it out. One of our viewers has asked us to solve this particular problem in this report. This is containing IPL historical data, and he wanted to see which player has won the highest number of man of the matches in each season. As you can see, by selecting any season from the slicer, the top player name is showing here in the card. But when we select 2017, then we got into a problem, and our visual is throwing an error. Let's first analyze why this is happening. Here we have a table visual, and we will bring here player's name and number of awards won by them. The expression is just a count DAX function. With the help of this table visual, we notice that, in all the seasons there is only one player who won maximum number of Man of the Matches awards. But in 2017, there is a tie between two players in total number of awards won, both the players have won three awards. And that's the problem for this card visual. Let's look into the measure expression. We notice that this expression is not correct, it can only give you results if you always have only one top player, but we want to see the concatenated list of all such players named for that season. We are going to modify this measure, but we know that we need to generate some virtual tables inside our measure and then finally aggregate them, we also would like to see the intermediate results of our table expressions on the go, so let's check in to the DAX Studio and solve this problem. Here is the DAX Studio, and we are connected to our Power BI model. All our tables and measures are available here. We will first start with summarize column function and will create a virtual table which will contain player's name, season, and the awards won by them. We can test the result of this table function here and see if it is able to generate the required output or not. Now, let's add one more column to this table, which is to identify the top player of the season. We have this output now, and we are able to see here the tie in 2017. This table we will use in measure and filter that for top players, then we will concatenate using concatenate text function with comma separated names.
And this is it, we are now able to see both the names as commas separated for 2017, and also we can check for other seasons, this is working perfectly now. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics in Power BI.